on 8 out of 10 cats. Look ream, smell ream, be ream, it's Joey Essex. New kid on the block, it's Joe Lyson. And their team captain, Sean Locke. And facing them tonight, Vegas baby, it's Johnny Vegas. The queen of Hollyoaks, it's Jennifer Metcalf. And their team captain, John Richardson. Now, welcome your host, Jimmy. Welcome to 8 Out of 10 Cats, a show about opinion polls, surveys and statistics. Did you know, for example, pensioners can save £3 a day by not putting on their heating, which over the rest of their lifetime could save them a whopping £9. <laughs> 66% of men are superstitious. I have a few superstitions, I'm scared of cats, and I hate the numbers 8 and 10, but fortunately, it doesn't really affect my life. <laughs> And 8% of people have had their wallets stolen in the last five years. When someone stole my wallet, I was devastated. I'd had that condom since I was 14. <laughs> right, let's get started. <laughs> what are you talking about? That's the name of our first round. It's our panellist's job to guess the British public's top three most popular talking points. Sean, your team to go first. What do you think the nation have been talking about this week? Um. The Italian Prime Minister, Silvio Berlusconi. Michael uh, Jackson. What, sorry? Michael Jackson. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, let's stick on one thing, shall we, for a minute? <laughs> Sean, Sean had a guess there, and he was, he was probably right, wasn't oh, he? Okay. So let's... <laughs> we can talk about Michael Jackson if you want. I'm happy to do it if you want Michael Jackson to be our answer. Well, you, what do you think the nation should be talking about, Joey Essex? Michael Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> What have you been saying about Michael Jackson this week? I don't know. I don't know whether it's true about them, like, you know, you know about the whole thing where did he... Did the doctor mean to kill him? <laughs> yeah, what do you think? I don't know. Well, it's been... <laughs> well, it's been fascinating talking to you, Joe. <laughs> I mean, really... They didn't... Well, the, 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 the accusation was that uh, he was negligent. You know, he gave him too much propofol. I don't know. I've, I've, I've had scrumpy that's stronger than that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Jackson got confused because he was used to doling out in children's portions. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh. Pro, Pro Fixilex. <laughs> Pro Fixilex. Pro Fixilex, the kids one. Mmm, <laughs> drowsy. Yeah. <laughs> he ordered four gallons of it. Four mm. gallons. He must have had it on draft. <laughs> Probably the reason uh, Michael Jackson died is he was changing the barrel. <laughs> on that. <laughs> <laughs> this doctor was getting paid £96,000 a month. Really? Yeah, to look after. And that, yeah, that alone, you would go, yeah, convict. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Clearly yeah. something he, wrong He still there. got paid. He only, did, he only lasted ten days. You know, I mean, Gaza would have lasted longer as his doctor. <laughs> <laughs> I think if that doctor were getting nearly 100 grand a month, why didn't you get a year out of him? Yeah. That's what makes me think he didn't do it. <laughs> It's a twisted That's a logic there. Like it's almost like that doctor was motivated to keep him alive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's incredible. He's on £96,000 a month. And when they found Jackson, his first words were, does anyone know CPR? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> it's a question of guilt about whether uh, he, was, he, was, he was really paying attention to Michael, to Jack Jackson. And he'd given him the propofol, and then he went downstairs to another room, and he had a baby listener. That's what I found. That's the really spooky thing about it. And he must have been sitting there, like, watching Downton Abbey or whatever, <laughs> and he could just hear Michael Jackson going... Can I have some milk? <laughs> <laughs> can, I, can I have some more milk? <laughs> <laughs> he be going, Michael, go to bed! <laughs> if I have to come up there, <laughs> you won't be going on that holiday to the O2. <laughs> <laughs> He said that Conrad Murray was his closest friend as well, which is a bit odd, isn't it? You can imagine Bubbles the monkey sat in a sanctuary going, he said I was his BFF. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a rumour that he's actually still alive. Yeah, Joey. Yeah. <laughs> he's still... That's what I've heard. Is he still alive? He's on some random, like, desert island somewhere, just... Well, yeah. He's on a random That's desert... That's not a rumour. Yeah. That's a load of bollocks. <laughs> I want to have a look and see whether Michael Jackson is one of the most talked about things this week. <laughs> yes, 
Yes, Dr Conrad Murray has been found guilty of the manslaughter of Michael Jackson. The Jackson family told the prosecutor they'd not just lost a pop icon, but a son and a brother and a valuable source of income. <laughs> <laughs> OK, Johnstein, what else have the nation been talking about this week? I don't know, I think maybe Berlusconi. <laughs> Just get the impression it's been on the tip of people's tongue. <laughs> Don't you He's... wish you'd thought of that? Yeah. <laughs> so go on, the Italian going. pervert. Weird. Prime Minister, I think, oh, yeah. is there. <laughs> Good old Silvio. He's worth nine billion dollars. And he's in charge of a country which has the third biggest debt in the world. Well, that's no surprise. How can you explain to Silvio we're in bad debt? No, I'm not. <laughs> No, you're not, but we are. No, I'm fine. Yeah. <laughs> but he's gone now, so it's all going to be fine. Dead? He's not dead. He's not dead. No, he's... <laughs> I know. I know you work in Hollyoaks and people tend to die. <laughs> <laughs> he's, no, he's just lost his job. He's oh, fine. Is he good looking? He's, he's a sexy 74 year old. Is he, is he good yeah. We've got a still of him. I can show you a picture of Dilf. him. Have, have a little look. That's all right. <laughs> That's all, That's all right. Mm. You would. I like the guy in the background thinking, is he chatting to my wife? <laughs> <laughs> he looks really worried, like he's just lost his wife. <laughs> Apparently it's ten grand a night. Really? Would you do that for ten grand? For me to be him? Uh, no, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can't ask someone if they turn themselves into a prostitute. <laughs> <laughs> Would you do that? that? Would yet. you prostitute yourself? <laughs> I'd do it for five. Five's fine. Oh, I four, four. I do it for four. four. I'm yeah. doing it for the lift dorm. <laughs> oh. I wish I had another woman on here. I don't think I can take you all on by myself. <laughs> Did you just say that out loud? <laughs> Am I sleeping now? <laughs> it's all right. I've got a lot of feminine traits and I'm very metrosexual. I'm sorry. I will involve you more. <laughs> Jesus Christ, you come on a panel show. It's like a <laughs> relationship! <laughs> <laughs> and let's see if Sylvia Berlusconi is one of the top three talking points. <laughs> so it is. The Eurozone crisis has left Italian leader Silvio Berlusconi in an awkward position, attempting to maintain an erection while talking on the phone to Angela Merkel. <laughs> <laughs> right, fingers on buzzers, one more thing to go. Well, it's Frankie Cocosa, isn't it? After so much abuse, he's finally gone. Thank and God. I liked him. <laughs> I just couldn't sing. I mean, I cannot hold a tune, but he cannot sing. He couldn't sing, but he no. was on X Factor. I'm not sure whether that really matters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I'm sure he's not the first one to do cocaine as well on there. Whoa. <laughs> when he's saying cocaine, it's called the Golden Rule. That's okay. what it is now. He's done a big line of the Golden Rule. <laughs> <laughs> they said he broke the Golden Rule. And they also said in the papers, they said that he spent the money he got from the M&S advert on cocaine. Presumably not just any cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. From their ready to snort <laughs> range. <laughs> He's already done an MS advert. Yeah, they, well, they got the... all of the X Factor people to be in the advert and then they take them out one by one from the advert as they get close to Christmas. And we've worked hard to get where we are. We're not I... in the MS Christmas ad. I, was gonna say, I swear to God, right. Everything I'm wearing tonight is MS Blue Arbor. It's not even, <laughs> you know, from the exclusive range. <laughs> <laughs> and they won't return my calls. <laughs> So far away. Do you must, think he's Joe, must have loved, Joe must have loved him. It's the bad boy. He thing, couldn't isn't sing. It? He didn't have any discernible talent, and yet he seemed to be a big star. He's still got Joey it. Essex. There should be some kind of. <laughs> well, surprisingly, that's not one of our top three talking points. The other big news in X Factor this week is that Johnny is out. No shit, Sherlock. <laughs> and I love the cock. <laughs> When they say Craig Coulton could be bigger than Subo, they're not just talking about his singing career. <laughs> hey, even if he does get kicked out, it's not the last we'll see of him on TV. There's always embarrassing bodies. <laughs> or inside nature's giants. <laughs> As I go, fingers on buzzers, one more thing to get. Is it the uh, FIFA poppy scandal? 
FIFA said that they weren't allowed to wear poppies, the English Because team. they said it was a political statement. Mm. Some people would find the three lions offensive. You know, for example, if you got drunk and climbed into a zoo. <laughs> that reminds me of Uncle Terry. <laughs> <laughs> he got eaten by lions and you're wearing them on your shirt. Have you got no feelings? <laughs> Papers kept saying, oh, Prince William has saved the day. They weren't going to let us wear poppies. And then, Prince, where there's a wills, there's a way. As if he found out about it. We're ready my horse. <laughs> and then he charged to set Blatt's house and said, I challenge you to a duel, sir. <laughs> Than the truth, which was someone else drafted an email and went, Do you mind if we send this with your name on it? He went, yes, I suppose so. <laughs> this image that John Terry finally wants to show what a patriot he is, he's been doing that for years. No one's in doubt that John Terry's proud to be English. The fact is, he's also a wanker. <laughs> <laughs> Jennifer, do you know any do you know any footballers? No, I don't really watch it. You don't really watch I it? knew one once. I read you knew one you once? Were... Who, did you, who did you know once? Ooh, we don't talk about him. <laughs> <laughs> no, Hollyoaks was like... Uh, I always thought Hollyoaks was like a shopping channel for footballers. <laughs> <laughs> Are you talking about Did you know Joey Barton? What, sorry? Joey Barton. Do I know Joey Barton? Do you know him? I, d I know of Joey Shoot Barton. Yeah, he's, right. a he's a footballer he for Kipio. He had to go at you, didn't he? Yeah, he's quite offensive to him. Yeah, he... I think he's jealous. Gel. Wait, he's totes gel, man. He's totes gel of Towie. <laughs> I'm enjoying saying that. I don't understand any of those words. <laughs> <laughs> what happened with Joey Barton? What did he say about you? Um, I'm not really sure. He basically just, just like, he was trying, I think he was trying to mug a few people off, saying... He, he was mugging people off? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What does that mean? <laughs> he was... Knocking their tea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, we went to a premiere and I think he saw a few people there. So um, afterwards, he decided to tweet just saying, Towie freaks, weirdos, things like that. <laughs> he called you a freak and a weirdo? He called me a freak and a weirdo. I was well offended. That's not nice, is it? But he was tweeting That's... at half one in the morning, so stop tweeting, go to bed, man, on your <laughs> ice cream. <laughs> That's what I said. Joey Barton, what are you doing up at half one? You should be in bed, you're really naughty. <laughs> <laughs> Joey Barton did say some very unkind things about The Only Way is Essex recently, and I think, it, I think it's only fair that you have the right to reply. Let's have a look at you in action on The Only Way is Essex. What's your favourite animal? Animal. Mm, I want to say cat, but it's boring, but it's cat. I, just love, I love cats. I love I like cat pies. What about you? Oh, mine's an elephant. Why elephant? I don't know. It's like, they're weird, aren't they? You've got them big, long things. Like. <laughs> I would say dinosaur, but they're not, they don't exist no more, do they? So. <laughs> Sorry, Joey, Joey Barton's seen that and he's calling you an idiot. <laughs> you could have got with uh, Johnny. I couldn't get away with that. I'd, look, I get nervous in front of women. You, the banter just rolls off. <laughs> 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 you know, I'm stuck for words. <laughs> I can't even think of animals. <laughs> My favourite the... animal is a train! Yeah. <laughs> it's not one of the greatest. <laughs> <laughs> in, the, in the sort of pantheon, in the list of great chat up lines, what's your favourite animal? I don't think it's ever really sort of been a clincher, has it? Do you want a better, do you want a better chat up line? Did you fall from heaven? Cos it looks like you landed on your face. <laughs> My personal favourite, does anyone know you're here? <laughs> <laughs> OK, let's have a look and see whether the FIFA poppy scandal is one of the most talked about things this week. Yes, this is the story that FIFA tried to ban poppies being worn by the England team. FIFA relented after Prince William wrote them a strongly worded letter. Oh, please let us wear poppies or I'll be really sad. I'm going bald and I married the wrong sister. <laughs> so at the end of that round, Sean, Joe and Joey have two points. Johnny, Jennifer and John have one. <laughs> That's it for part one. See you after the break. <laughs> Welcome back to Out of the Ten Cats. Our next round is Pick of the Polls. Sean, Joe, Joey, what do you like the look of? Um, the waxing. OK, all right, so here's your related question. <laughs> Most men are too embarrassed to undergo beauty treatments. True or false? Well, you've undergone a few, or is that a natural tan? This is natural. 
Oh, so that's a natural tan, is it? Well, I've, I've had sunbeds, but I've quit sunbeds now. I don't have no sunbeds no more. So you've quit sunbeds. Quit. Oh my God, <laughs> so you've made some sacrifices, <laughs> haven't you? No. <laughs> when did you quit sunbeds? Like last week. <laughs> So, uh, what's your daily regime, beauty-wise? What do you do, beauty-wise? Well, obviously, you know, I wake up, look at myself, and I think, green. But then I get, then what? Then I, then, <laughs> then, then, then I get in and I get in the shower, do my air afterwards, bang, bang. What are you saying? <laughs> bang, bang, and who's over there? That was meant to be the mirror. Oh, I thought that was your carer. <laughs> Uh, Jennifer, you're, you're a lady. Now, do you think men are too pampered these days? Do we do, we do yeah, too much? Yeah, yeah, I do. I like men, like, hairy, smelly. Um, <laughs> Johnny Vegas. <laughs> John, do you, any, do, you do any...? Uh, no. I wouldn't say I'm too embarrassed. I just think the prettier you are, the more you're going to disappoint someone at some point, cos they'll think, oh, that's the one, and then you go... <laughs> <laughs> So you, so you don't do any, you don't do any I have beauty my treatment. first extraneous nostril hair this week. Oh, it's terrible, isn't it? Yeah, it was the first one I was driving and I just checked my rearview mirror and it was there. Hello! <laughs> that was the first vanity issue I've had of like, well, that needs sorting and there's no reason. I shouldn't have just let them all come out. How'd you, know? you get it out? No. I just pulled and I pulled <laughs> until I cried. When you, go, when you go to Boots and buy your first nasal trimmer, the way the girl looks at you, you know, and she slides <laughs> it across with the beep. I don't know, Johnny. Well, and you can't look away, cos if you look away, you give them a better angle. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Beauty treatments. I have had waxing, but I won't take my trousers off. They have to do it keyhole. <laughs> <laughs> Joey, you take very good care of your hair, I've noticed. Yeah. Have a little, uh, have a little look at this. I didn't know you blow-dried your hair. I don't blow-dry my hair. You just blow dried it. No, I hair dry my hair. That is a blow dry. No, I blow dry when you go to a shop in it. Like, if you go to a shop, you get your hair blow dry. You're a girl, you go to a salon. <laughs> it's what? not. If you blow dry your hair, you blow dry your hair. It's the same, whether you do it or someone else does it. Yeah, but no, you've got to put one... I'm so confused. Do you do that every day? <laughs> just to blow dry your hair every day? Yeah, but I don't. This is not a blow dryer. This is a hair dryer. Yeah, exactly the same thing. So what do you think? I'm going to get you a diffuser. A what? <laughs> and then the cat technically say, even that's a further, another step away from blow drying. A diffuser? Yeah, it's one, you know, the little spikes in that you just run it through. What it does, it breaks it up and you'll get no split ends. <laughs> <laughs> what have you done with a real Johnny Vegas? <laughs> Johnny, what do you use on your hair? Hey, 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 sunshine, I had a perm, all right, that, two minutes. I used to lacquer, I used a mousse, I used a diffuser. Didn't towel dry, cos that created heat and friction. No, I'd wrap round, I'd give it 20 good minutes. I treated it with respect. I hope that shit falls out. <laughs> I didn't, mean, I didn't mean half into that, man. Yeah, well, you did, and I'm, you know what? <laughs> Give out for that. <laughs> Look after it, you don't know where you go, are you young? <laughs> OK. So most men are too embarrassed to undergo beauty treatments. I'm <laughs> going bald! <laughs> Look at that. That's not that bad. No. I'm worse than that. Mind <laughs> you, I think that's because I've had very vivid dreams. <laughs> 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 OK, so most men are too embarrassed to undergo beauty treatments, true or false? What are you going to say, Sean? True. You think it's true? You think they are too embarrassed? Yes, Sean, do, what do you yes. think? Team? Jennifer, what do you think? False. Are most men false. too embarrassed? False. You can go false. OK. I can tell you the answer is false. Oh. You got it. Yes. <laughs> yes, only 43% of men said they'd be too embarrassed to have beauty treatments. These days, you can even get your arsehole bleached. That's what Liz Hurley did with Shane Warne. <laughs> And the winner is, is the name of our final round. Here is your question. Top thing British people lie about. 
I think most people lie about any sentence that starts, I know a lovely place. You know, like when you go for dinner or to a pub, and they go, I know a great little place. And it's miles away and it's shit. <laughs> <laughs> How was that your anecdote? I know a great place and it stinks and the food's crap. So now I hate the place and you for liking it. <laughs> <laughs> it's telling your partner or your wife that they're your best friend. That's a lie. <laughs> That's a lie. That's a, such a lie, isn't it? Because if you, you don't go out for 14 pints with your wife, do you? <laughs> you don't say to your wife, let's go and have 14 pints. Because <laughs> you do with a best friend, don't you? you? go, let's go and have 14 pints. <laughs> <laughs> Why 14? <laughs> funny number. Funny number. I lie about drinking quite a lot. Like, I'll say, I only had three glasses of wine, and then I'll go, oh, no, I did have another three glasses of wine. And then I did kick a toddler in the face. <laughs> Worry. I lied about Christine Brinkley. <laughs> I say I saw uh, Christine Brinkley. She was modelling flippers on the Albert Bridge. <laughs> Didn't see her at all. I say, you know, you know Christine Brinkley. Yeah. She used to be my taekwondo teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Is she? Yeah. You know, I go, no, Christine Brinkley. I bought her a. Re I was she be on telly, and I go, see that woman there, Christine Brinkley. Years ago, I bought a reconditioned flymo off her. <laughs> Sorry, is that, is that true or not, Sean? <laughs> Did you buy a reconditioned flame off? No, no, just make it up for a bit of fun. Just make up all, these, all yeah, these stories about Christine Blakely. And you know the canoe man? He hid in her loft for a year. <laughs> <laughs> do you know Christine Blakely, yeah? I do actually know Christine Blakely. Well, she's, she's a nice yeah. woman. Yeah, she's, yeah, she's, she's not. I make up lies about her. <laughs> John, what do you lie about? Everything, constantly. <laughs> <laughs> I lie about people's names. Like... If, if the first thing you had to do when you saw someone was say their name, people who've known me for years would find out that, actually, I don't really care who they are. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anyone really knows anyone's name. Do you know what? I call everyone, yeah? If I don't know someone's name, for some reason, I call them Ashley. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's, That's good, cos a lot of us have been just calling them mate or pal or... <laughs> Oh, all right, fella. But for some reason, but Ashley's much better because it's because <laughs> if it is Ashley, it quids in. <laughs> it age? Do people lie about age? But, oh, that is that, that age is number two, number two on the list. Is it their weight? It's not worth lying about. <laughs> I... <laughs> <laughs> Genuinely, people know I'm not nine stone. I've, I've tried <laughs> regularly. It's to do with partners, sexual partners. Uh, oh, that was yeah. the right answer. To do that at the beginning. <laughs> yeah. Yes, the top thing British people lie about is the number of sexual conquests they've had. I've rounded mine up to two. <laughs> well, that sound tells me it's the end of the round and the end of the show, which means the final scores are John, Johnny and Jennifer have three points. Sean, Joe and Joey have two, which means John, Jennifer and Johnny are tonight's winners. <laughs> Thanks to all our panellists, our wonderful studio audience, and to all of you for watching at home. That's it from us. Good night. <laughs>